Hello there guys, Fang Fur for you. Today we're going to have a look at Neo Scavenger. Now, this is a game that's currently in alpha. I installed the server a few days back, um, ma mainly with the intention of maybe giving Project Zomboid, which uh, I've been recommended to by quite a few people. And um, I actually come across this gem of a game on Dezora. In fact, Dezora is pretty damn good. I really like Dezora a lot because um, you can see a lot of a lot of um, ongoing alpha projects, which is pretty cool. There's not an awful lot on there, though, to be quite honest. But you know, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, Neil Scavenger is oh here we go. It's yet another post-apocalyptic game yes i know i know i've been doing an awful lot of them recently and well you know i i, I enjoy the genre i really do especially especially it, it just seems to be re getting really um popular these days you know but uh yeah this particular game has been in the works uh i don't know how long it's been in the works for actually but um it was released on De in on Dezura back in august uh last year and it reminds me a lot of old school kind of games, and it's it's got a really unique combat style. Um, should we just actually get in, shall we? So, um, th yes, there is sound, but it's a bit loud. And oh, okay, you can't actually hear it now. Brilliant, brilliant. Why can't you hear it? Oh, whatever. But yeah, it's a bit loud and. Uh, there's no uh, there's no volume switch, just mutes. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's the thing. That's, you know, it's alpha, and you know, you're not always going to get all these grand options. I mean, this is in uh, this is in uh, thirteen twenty two by nine hundred ninety three. It's not the best of uh, not the best of resolutions, but it'll do. You know, it's better than watching it at four hundred or bloody four and three. You know. <laughs> Instructions, pretty simple, move, take object, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's really weird because you have to kind of click an action and then click whatever action you want to use. It's a bit odd, but it works. It actually works. So let's actually create a character. So, very similar to what I've been playing, uh, Cataclysm, um, we've got a basic human who starts off with um, four slots. So we have a few abilities here. So we've got hacking, skill, ma uh, manipulating computers, medic, which improves healing rate, hiding, which makes you a bit more easy to hide, you know, harder to detect, melee, which makes you better at melee, eagle eye, and so on and so on and so forth. You also can have traits that are negative. So, and this will actually give you an extra spa positive space slot. So, for example, if I went with Insomniac, I'd have five spaces for whatever I wanted so we're just gonna go with the four for the time being now um, this game is very v at the moment it's very merely dependent from what I've, from what from the from the hour I've been playing it well I've only been playing this for about an hour and I thought well I want to show you guys this it's, it's pretty awesome pretty awesome so I'm gonna go with uh, medic want to heal a bit easier Millie strong I believe strong is the one, isn't it? Hang on. Carry more of it being encumbered. Melee attacks are more damaging. And uh, we're tough, maybe? Mm. Tough or... Yeah, we'll go with tough. So it's pretty much all melee and regenerative shit. Okay, dokie. So we'll confirm that. Okay, dokie. So you wake up disorientated, some slumped over the base of the MT. <laughs> yeah. So what you have to do is you have to kind of select uh, actions and then confirm the action. So obviously we want to jump out the window since it's uh, broken and we can get out. So let's do that. Yay, now we're out. And now we made a break for it and now we're out in the open world. Yes, we know X's can be scavenged. So you can scavenge them and you can find items. And some X's do have items on them already. So yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. It is actually hex based to start off with. You've got a set amount of move points, as you can see, I've got five moves. And it's... What's that? Oh yeah, and because I'm actually barefooted, I get minus one. There's a lot of variables in the game. And it's, pre it's pretty um, pretty intrusive, so... Shall we... I don't want to take him on, because he's quite hard. 
Who's, who is running the craft facility? There is a town over there. Uh, towns are usually w w very worthwhile to check out. Since you started for absolutely subtle, but we'll just go this way first. Let's just see what we can find. So there's items here. We can click on the X. And here we are. These are invent space. So as you can see, we've got space for the hands. We've got space for a backpack. And that's pretty much it for the time being. Um, we can, uh, as you can see, there's trees. What we can do is there is like a crafting system, and if you click on that, you can put stuff there to combine. So trees in there, and we can actually make some some uh, branches and bark and more trees apparently. So we can make trees out of trees. Now it does actually cost a move to do this, and we don't really need to. You know, what, what use is some twigs going to make at the moment? Absolutely fuck all. So, if we just get off that, there we go. Now, it, there, there is actually hotkeys for the mouse, uh, for the mouse, for the keyboard as well. So, you don't, it, it isn't entirely mouse driven, but, yeah, I like using the mouse. <laughs> Easier. So, uh, there you go. So, as you can see, there's actually red uh, footprints there. So, we can actually track, uh, we can actually track C, C, Med and whatnot. But we haven't really got any tracking skills, so we'd probably fail anyway. And we we also make tracks as we progress, so it takes a turn to hide tracks, but it can be worth it, especially with that bloody um, ugly monster thing that was just there. But we want to carry on. Let's see what's on the ground here. Uh, I can't actually, for some reason, I can't get to it. There we go. So there we go. M full of berries. There we go. I'm gonna hold on to them for the time being. Very limited space to start off with. You can literally only put two. I can only have two things, one in each hand, until you start getting stuff like clothes, which will have pockets or backpacks. You usually find plastic bags, which don't carry a lot, but at least they carry more than your fucking hands. Let's just say that, okay? Let's just say that. Anyway, let's go in here. So there we go. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Blah de blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. De blah de blah. Okay, okay. So yeah, the trucks and carrying on going that way. So there's a good chance I might actually see someone here. Now, when your moves are gone, you have to end your turn. So let's do that. Now, as we can see, a bandit has found us and has ambushed us. Um, luckily, he doesn't really have anything. He can. He's only got his um, his fists. But then again, so have we. He's also got tough, and he's also barefoot. So as mirror, I've still got strong. I bled a little bit from um, going over trees, I think. Yeah, from grazing, from grazing over trees or whatnot. So the combat's really weird. So you got to put in what you want to do. So we, we're actually out of range at the moment, out of melee range. So we could either we could either possibly try and retreat, try and get away from him. We could scare the shit out of him to see if um, see if he'll fuck off, or we can actually. Uh, advance a little bit so I'm gonna charge there we go so here we go so player charges a bandit player is exposed to easy attack for a moment and I've tripped because I'm absolutely useless I've got no footing there was actually a trait that, that gives you a bit more better um, footing but I didn't take it did I so I'm an idiot uh, bandit is actually trying to retreat from me, which is really odd. Now I've got a, I've got a bit of a choice here. I can either try and dodge if I think he's going to try and hit me. I could get up, or I can try and pull him down. So I'm going to try and pull him down with me. So yeah, player put yeah player pulls bandit down to the ground. Uh, bandit lower chest was bruised. Bandit fallen to the ground. And must regain foot to continue, and he's exposed. So if we get up very quickly, and he is a little bit. He is. He did actually manage to get away a little bit. So we're going to try and tackle him. We missed and we fell to the ground instead. So we both actually trying to get up here. No, he's he just, yeah, he just uh, did um, a melee attack, like a melee surge. So what this does is it, it gives you a, a few punches you can do in one turn. But the problem is you have to re you have to take a turn to recover. So he's missed, and now I'm going to retaliate with exactly the same move. And I actually hit mine, as you can see. And I hit his upper chest and his right arm. He's now moving away. Now he's actually running quite a bit of ways. Now free, uh, free range. Now is it? I've got to think now. Is it worthwhile trying to take him down? Still, I mean, at the end of the day, I've only really damaged him a little bit. 
I could just get away. But I'm gonna charge him. You know, he was the he was he was the one being the twat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna charge him. Um, I'm just gonna do a normal melee attack and see what happens. So there we go. Player attacks bandit and it's and we got him with his left arm. So we're gonna carry on charging. Uh, we're gonna try and attack him again. We actually missed that time. Darn it. Alright, let's just advance a little bit. He's trying to retreat now. Hmm. I'm going to try and do a melee surge again. Right. Ah, uh, we missed as well, and we needed time to recover. Now he could be telling. Now he's actually just uh, thinking. Okay. So there's no, there's other things to consider as well. For example, temperature outdoors. Now it's very cold, and I'm actually shivering here. I'm actually, you know, quite cold. I'm wearing absolutely nothing apart from my stupid robes. So it was kind of a shame I didn't really kill him there, but. You know, this will give us a chance to actually scavenge now, see if we can find anything. So, scavenging is pretty cool. So, when you scavenge, you have a few chances. So, you can there's a chance for you to find loot. There's a chance for you uh, you're doing it in safety. And if you do get spotted, there's a chance you might actually not be seen whilst looting. So, if we click on that and see what happens... Okay, so due to the nature, office stairs weren't primarily looting targets during the food routes. More obvious targets got the most tension later on. Astute scavengers realised many offices have bottled water and often kitchens. What's more, the supply closet it served ten often, not off ten. What am I on about? Often contain valuable survival tools. The supplies aren't expected to be great, but it's worth a shot. And we're going to try and why does yeah that for some reason that. Gives me a bit more. It's probably just to break the uh, windows in. Try and get in. Okay, so I've actually found items, but I've also attracted attention, which is not good. So no backpack, which is unfortunate. There's a bottle of coke, and there's not actually a lot. There's ketchup there. That'll that'll let me load. There we go. I've got a disposable bag, so now we can carry some stuff now. So um, I'm not too sure what these are for, but nah. Let's leave it. Right, let's take a few of these bottles. Especially the ones that are full. Would be helpful. We can store water in them, so that's alcohol. And I'll take this ketchup. Why not? Might as well. Just take all of it. There we go. So that's a shame we don't really get anything there. But, you know, let's see what happens. Okie dokie. So, yeah, it's, an it's another bloody bandit who's coughing... I think it's the same one since he's coughing blood. Could very well be. Let's try and advance. And we'll attack him. And we've got him in the upper chest. Excellent. Let's try him again. And we've got him again with a left leg. Let's run up to him. Let's try and tackle him. Knock him down. Uh, Bandit is playing next attack. Making them hard to it for a moment. And we actually missed there. So that was a really good uh, dodge on, him, on his part there. Let's try and knock him down. Uh, what was that say? Yeah, we managed to pull him down to the ground. His stomach was bruised. He's fallen to the ground. Blah blah. blah. Let's get up. Uh, now we can kick his head in. No, literally, we can kick his head in. So that's what we're going to do. Kick his head in while he's down. Uh, his upper chest was smacked. Uh, we can do it again. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to keep doing that until. It, yeah, he's now vulnerable. Recover. Well, kind of recovering. Fall and bleeding in severe pain. Let's hit him again. There we go. Let's kick his head in. Let's keep kicking his head in. He can't really do anything to me now. He's now unconscious, so... Just keep kicking his head in until... He uh, dies due to acute bleeding in the lungs. Brilliant. So now he's dropped... Not an awful lot. He's dropped a pair of shoes, which is good. It means we can have, to have full move speed now. A hoodie, which will give us a little bit of... Um, a little bit of space and a little bit of warmth. There was also uh, snack cakes in there. Brilliant, brilliant. Cool. Uh, jeans, brilliant. And there's other things in there. There's, ooh, jelly bears. Gummy bears, as uh, we call them in England. Gummy bears or jelly babies or whatever. Uh, blinkies, uh, snack cakeies. What else have we got? Oh, yeah, so that was from the uh, from one before. Okay, okay then. So... Well, 
we're still fairly well rested. We're okay, you know. We, we, our temperature's starting to get up a little bit now since we've got some stuff on. Let's uh, scavenge again. Let's try this other building. Let's see how this goes. So, we're not going to find that much loot in here. Uh, we can if we try and pick the strong. It's not going to be very sneaky, but let's try it. Nah, nothing's found. Brilliant. And that chap's still there. I, don't, I still don't really want to go near him if I can help it. But, let's just go over here. There we go. And that's all our moves. So, um, well, we're in slight pain, you know. It's nothing major. I think we'll just... Let's end turn. So, this turn, we do actually want to try and get some sleep. So we can recover from our tired state. If you were, if you're too tired, you won't be able to do any actions in combat. You will die. It's as simple as that. Now we can search a forest. Searching the forest usually yields food and water. Uh, scavenge. Yes, please. M more of a chance to get loot. Yay, mushrooms! Oh, I'm actually going to eat these straight away, and I'm going to drink the water. Uh, water can also be deposited in one of the bottles, as you can see. So there we go. Excellent. And that's it. I'm not going to bother searching the other one to be pointless. But we'll go there and see if we can find at least a backpack would be nice. Okay, so let's try and get that, see if we can get more loot. Yeah, we found items. No, not really anything I wanted. No, that's a shame. That's a bit of a waste, actually. Um, we need a sleeping bag of some sort. Uh, two moves left. Not going to be able to do that much. Okay, so we're actually going to... Uh, should we rest? Mm. No, it's sleep. Okay. So we, we can't actually use anything. I could probably use a plastic bag. Might help me a little bit. No, it won't. Won't help me at all. There's a decent amount of shelter here, and it will heal me a little bit. But the more important thing is sleep. Now, you can get disturbed while you're sleeping. That's one thing you need to take into consideration. As you can see, we've just um, had trouble falling asleep, and someone's found us. So, let's charge the bastard for waking us up. Let's get him. Right, we managed to hit him. Brilliant. Let's charge after him. Let's try and melee surge him. Ah, we missed. That's not good. And yeah, he's actually now managed to run away. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, we couldn't go to sleep, and now our turn is still the same. Brilliant. Uh, where should we go now? Well, we could carry on going this way. You know, oh, there is actually a town over there. I don't think I'm going to make it in that amount of moves. That's the only problem. I wonder if there's anything... No, of course there isn't. Mm. Let's go here. And we're going to need to try and sleep again. Even though there's nothing here. Yeah, we're only going to get to sleep here. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, we start trouble for to sleep. Mm. Well, let's scavenge this. Let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, let's do that. It's not going to be very sneaky, but I need items. Oh, there we go. Our first uh, weapon of sorts. Uh, I should eat these as well while I'm there. Okay. And, yeah, metal saucepan there. That's fine. Right, and let's see who we're disturbed. Oh. Well, that's me fucked. I need to run away from this. Oh, you do need to run away from this. There's pointless threatening him. I have nothing apart from a metal saucepan, which is not going to do that much. Uh, let's retreat. Okay. Oh, you can't get away. Oh, come on. Right. Let's parry. Let's see what happens. Oh, it was already down. Well, that was a stupid move on my part. Let's carry on running. My dogma is parrying now, and I've tripped. I'm stupid. Let's get up. He's advancing towards me. Let's run. Let's try and dodge. No, mm, oh, he managed to get me. And I'm stunned and bleeding. Uh, I need to get up. 
Uh, I could try and trip him up. Uh, yep. Managed to trip him up. Let's escape. Let's escape. Oh, we go in there, but I fell over. Look at dumbass. Escape. Come on, escape. He's advancing the same amount as me. That's the only problem. But then again, he's got a, He's going to try and tackle me now, you see. No, no, he just tried to tackle me. Boom. So he should, he's got to get up. So I'm going to carry on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah. Charged at me. But he's, he's exposed now. I'm going to try and headbutt him. I hit him. No, he hit me. Bastard. No, I, actually, I, I did actually hit him there. Dogman is about to recover for acting again, but it did actually get me again there as well, which uh, doesn't help. Let's run again. Retreat. Oh, come on. Right. Hmm. Dogman is exposed to an easy attack for the moment. All right, let's try and tackle him. Yeah, I I did actually tackle him, but he managed to hit me again, and I'm really weary now. I need to get up. Yeah, I'm really weary. Uh, I'm not going to be able to act as much at all. I need to run away from this, otherwise I'm just going to die. Desperate retreat. Let's try that. There we go. I managed to get away. Uh, I'm not very happy with that. Right, let's go there. Uh, let's go up oh, there. There we go. Right now, let's try and sleep this time. Jesus Christ! Not going to heal here though. It's only problem. There we go. It's going there, and we might. Yeah, we actually got away with that. Wow. Well, I'm pleased with that. Okay, let's uh, scavenge here. Let's see what we can find. Come on, give me some good. Yay! Items. What? Fuck me, that that that's a lot. Right, let's just get rid of these. Get rid of this plastic bag. We don't need it now. There we go. Excellent. That was Andy. We've even got antibiotics here as well. Wow. Excellent. Painkiller. Okay, okay. Right, let's get these then. No, the others are empty, I think. Well, look of it. Yeah, they're all empty. Let's take the antibiotics. Uh, what we've got here? A pocket knife. Could we uh, equip that as a weapon? No. We'll keep it. A quality torch. And crafting, but I don't have anything like that, so that's a shame. I will drink water. Thank you. I will also eat that soup. Thank you. What we got here is that a lighter? It's a lighter. We'll take the lighter. We'll take the crackers. Uh, what else should we take? Should we take? I think a meat cleaver might be better as a weapon, although it's not. Let me put it in the end. Right, we need to click to move it then. So if we move it there, there we go. No. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. So what else have we got? Blue jeans. I've already got jeans on. I've got a t-shirt on. I have now. Oh, lockpicks, uh, painkillers, more lockpicks. Wow, it's actually pretty decent uh, little loot. This is. I'm a happy man. Brilliant. Okay, I think I'll do now then for the time being. Now sleeping bag, which is kind of odd. Okay, dokie. Right, let's go up here. Let's scavenge up here. A storage shed. To try and break into it. Should be a load of loot in here, and there's nothing. Excellent. Okay, I'm actually gonna. Uh, I shall sleep. Can I sleep in it? I can actually get a bit of healing here. I can use the newspaper as well. Newspaper will, uh, should give me a bit more. No, it won't. Oh well, fuck it. Just sleep. I had trouble falling asleep. Fair enough, you know. Point taken. Okay, let's scavenge a uh, destroyed ice building. F office building, not ice. What the? What am I on? Really? No, honestly, what am I on? 
rotted floorboards, your foot foot stews are rotten, uh, of course you need to trip, you've got scrapes, scrapes, no items, and a twat here. Oh, he's actually got a crowbar against the meat cleaver. Well, I'm going to scare the shit out of him first, let's see what happens. Okay, well, well done, you've just expelled yourself, which means I'm going to do a few of you on you. Right. So, yeah, launched a few of attacks and hits. I managed to get his upper right leg and his head. Wow. Brilliant. Apparently, he knocked some debris into me, which is great, isn't it? Still bleeding. Uh, I need to advance. Uh, it's normal melee attack. There we go. I should manage to get his lower stomach with a meat cleaver. Let's charge at him. Let's trip him over. I missed. Bollocks. Let's tackle him instead then. I missed again. Let's try and tackle him down to the ground. I missed again. Well, I am actually in major pain here. By the look of it, I need to take some painkillers after this one. Let's just charge him. Right, let's just hit him normally. I managed to hit him normally. Okay, let's advance. Let's do a milli surge. Wow. Players' meat cleavers falling apart. Oh, shit. Well, this is not going well. We both get up at the same time near enough. I hit him. I smack him round a bit. Yeah, we're both in severe pain. I need to get up. I need to advance. I want to try and trip him. Yes, he's gone on the floor. But he's a bit far away. And I'll kick him in the head. And I'll smack him with a melee surge. Oh, let's leg trip him again. Give him a biff. Tackle him. Wow. Shit. This is stunned. Come on. Oh, hang on. He's on the floor. He's on the floor. Let's kick it. Let's kick the shit out of him. Give him a one, two, three, four, five, six. Advance. I suppose he's not dead yet. Oh, no, he's unconscious. There we go. He's not going to last long now. Couple of kicks to the head, and he's dead. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> so what we've got here? Oh, a crowbar that we'd never do need. Uh, nothing else. What's what's in there? What's in there? Can I actually get the items out of that? Hang on. Let me see if I can move it over here. Ah, there we go. Painkiller. We'll take that. Oh, I've got to confirm it. Okay. We'll take that. I don't want those. What the fuck is that for? Get rid of them. Bloody dirty rags. Um, yeah, let's take that. Use it. There we go. Lost a bit of blood there. I have no bandages. I wonder if I can use these as bandages. Can you craft these as bandages? Let's just move them. Can we craft these as bandages? Please tell me you can. Would be nice. No, oh, it doesn't look like it. That's a bugger, isn't it? I mean, it's the great thing about this as well. You don't actually have to. Um, you don't have to know the ingredient, the uh, recipes to actually craft them. But you know, you still got to be lucky and try and craft something that's craftable. Otherwise, the point is, wow, we've actually got rifle rounds. Oh, that that that's what was in that uh, thing, wasn't it? It's the first time I've come across ammo in this game. I have come across a gun before, but never ammo. Well, I'm gonna eat some gummy bears or jelly babies. Uh, I'm gonna, I am going to use some water as well. Now I'm pretty well fed and hydrated. I really need sleep. That's the main thing now. I need sleep. I could probably use that. Can I use all these? And um, will it help? No. Let's just use them anyway. And now it's nightfall. And I had trouble sleeping. Which means I need to try and go to sleep again. Oh, it's going there, it's going there. There we go. Painkillers are wearing off as well. Still losing blood. I'm not 100% sure how to fix that. But what I do now is that we need to try and find stuff. Like that. There we go. 
Uh, do, 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 do. We don't need water. Actually, we can use water. Yeah, that's... Oh, not enough moves. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's just use that. Rest and heal, then, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. Have you been there yet? No. But I'm tired. I need to go sleep again. It's only problem. It's it's taking forever to try and actually get rested properly. There we go. Brilliant. That's what we needed. Scavenge. Uh, there we go. Oh, I can use the crowbar now. What would be better? Crowbar or strength? Let's use a crowbar. I found items. Yay. Useless items, but, you know, items nonetheless. Get some more water. Yep, water. Oh. Okay. What's that? String and twine. Screws and washers. I need to figure out what you can actually, uh, thingy. What you can craft. Something I should look up. Yeah, let's get in there. Um, we really attracted a creature. I've got a dog man. Brilliant. Well, I've got a. Okay. Yeah. Let's get up. I've got a crowbar. I'm not afraid to use it. Get the shit out of him. Go on. Give him some. Give him some, Welly. And I'm down. Give him some welly. Oh, I didn't pick anything. They're not stupid. There we go. Surge him. Uh, I'm, I'm in pain here, aren't I? Yeah, confirm. Uh, this is not going well. I'm in a lot of pain. And I can't act half the time. Let's try and trip him. At least trip him. Get up. Oh, come on, kick him in the head, kick him in the head. Whack him on, kick him in the head. Uh, get up. Take that, you bastard, he's making me bleed. Let's dodge. And get up. Surge him. He's down, bloody hell, that was lucky as fuck. And he didn't drop anything. Typical. Yeah, I might need... Oh, I might need some painkillers now. There we go. Do we need antibiotics or anything? It's that one's actually empty. Wow. Shouldn't have even bothered picking that one up. That's empty now as well. Okie dokie. So, you know, as you can see, it's actually pretty damn, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good fun. It's a like, you know, you're meant to die. You will die. You will die a lot. But that's the fun of it. Indeed, it is the fun of it. And... I'm, keep, I'm going to keep an eye on this because, you know, it, it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. It's already got quite far from uh, the August build. And, you know, if you want it, it's of Undersura. You can try the demos or you can um, get early alpha access. Okay then, guys, that's me and I'll see you later.